Hi, I'm Shagun Kapil. I'm a correspondent with Down to Earth. Today, I'll be speaking about a new and interesting study on Andhra Pradesh's zero-budget natural farming. In some good news, zero-budget natural farming has led to significantly higher crop yield compared to organic or conventional farming in Andhra Pradesh. The southern state has been pushing for 100% chemical-free agriculture under the Andhra Pradesh Community Managed Natural Farming Program since 2016. EPCNF has worked with 6.3 lakh farmers of the state for the last six years. The increase in yield was found in a new study conducted by researchers from the University of Reading and Raitu Sadhikara Samastha, a non-profit set up by the government in 2014. So what is ZBNF and how does it differ from conventional or organic farming treatments? To read a detailed report on zero-budget natural farming, click the links in the description below. Conventional farming involves the use of synthetic pesticides or fertilizers and is the mainstream method for farming in India. Organic treatment does not use any synthetic fertilizers but uses purchased organic inputs such as farmyard manure and vermicompost. ZBNF on the other hand involves not using any synthetic pesticides or fertilizers and uses homemade inputs comprising desi cow dung and urine with mulch. Most popular inputs include Jeevamrita and Bijamrita. Researchers studying the impact of Andhra Pradesh's natural farming program carried out controlled field experiments in 28 farms across six districts over three cropping seasons from June 2019 to June 2020. During this time, they made comparisons between three farming treatments in terms of yield, soil pH, temperature, moisture content, nutrient content and earthworm abundance. The results revealed that ZBNF yield was significantly higher than both conventional and organic treatments in three districts of Prakasam, Nellore and Kadapa. The ZBNF yield was significantly higher than the conventional treatment in the Krishna district and significantly higher than the organic treatment in the Anantapur district. Moreover, it was also observed that the yield for the conventional treatment reduced from the first to the third season, whereas the organic and ZBNF mean yield increased slightly through all three seasons. The researchers studied different crops like groundnuts and tomatoes. The yield of groundnut kernels was around 30 to 40 percent higher in the ZBNF treatment. This is an important finding with groundnut being a crucial oilseed crop in India. It covers 5,37,000 hectares in Andhra Pradesh alone. Apart from the higher yield, another significant finding of the study was regarding nutrient availability. The results showed that nutrient availability remained unaffected in zero-budget natural farming. Now, this is a significant finding because there have been arguments that synthetic fertilizers increase nutrient concentrations in comparison to organic or natural farming. Intensive use of synthetic pesticides and fertilizers comes with a number of associated risks to farmers' finances, human health, greenhouse gas emissions, biodiversity loss and environmental pollution. It has been estimated earlier that if ZBNF covered 25% of the total crop area in Andhra Pradesh, 70 million US dollar would be saved in fertilizer subsidies every year. Now, this one of the most extensive on-ground assessment proves that ZBNF is making sure the yields are increased while improving the soil health as well, giving a significant push to Andhra Pradesh's natural farming movement. To know more about the latest news on science, technology and climate change, head to the Down to Earth channel linked in the description.